Chemical sensitivities and what you need to know. I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, if you have a question, go over to askahousecleaner.com. Right there in the corner is a blue button. When you click on that, you can send a message to me here at the show. Now, somebody called in and they asked this question. Hi, Angela. First, thank you for your videos. And I have a question. I used to uh, clean houses five years ago, and then I stopped to take care of my child. And I'm thinking to go back. And my question is this. I had a customer at that time that she only likes me to use the Clorox disinfecting things on her bathroom. And I found out that when at the times I need to cry, my eyes burn from the tears. And I find out that it was because of the chemicals, because now that has been a few years have passed and I'm not cleaning. That doesn't happen anymore. So if I'm thinking to go back, is there a way that I can protect my eyes or my uh, nose, I guess, from smelling that and prevent that from happening again? I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, chemical sensitivities are really a serious issue. And it should be considered not just from the house cleaner's perspective, but from the perspective of the client as well. Many people suffer from chemical sensitivities. And as we clean, and I'm talking about a house cleaner that cleans year after year after year, you're going to become more and more and more sensitive to cleaning chemicals. Your body only can tolerate so much. So we do want to use cleaning supplies that don't have really strong harsh smells and have things that make your eyes water and your nose cry and all those things while you're trying to clean, right? Now, there are personal protective equipment items that you can carry with you on a job. There are certainly times you want to use Clorox or bleach or some heavy duty chemical for a heavy duty cleaning project. But the reality is we do not need heavy duty cleaning chemicals at all maintenance cleaning jobs. So on a really deep clean, or if you're doing a, an extreme clean or something like that, absolutely, you will need something so strong. And on a regular maintenance clean, you can kind of back up and use an all-purpose cleaner that still has disinfecting properties that will sanitize the area that you're cleaning in without it taking a great big toll on your respiratory system, okay? So you've got to be aware of it for yourself. You've got to be aware of it for your customer. Because if you leave a customer's home and their home reeks of harsh chemicals and they have chemical sensitivities as well, after you leave, yes, their house will be clean, but their eyes will be sad as well, right? And you don't want their sinuses to be acting up just because they had you come over to clean. So if you're going back into the cleaning industry, congratulations, I'm super excited for you. My suggestion is that you figure out the cleaning supplies that you're gonna be using and then have a conversation with your customer so that they are familiar with the cleaning supplies that you're gonna use knowing that it will clean and it will sanitize, but it won't have these um, severe effects on their family as well. And then what you may wanna do is just make sure that at every clean, there is an expectation that is clear between you and the client. So if the client says, oh, you must use this particular cleaning chemical, find out why. Is there a particular reason why they're insisting that you use that chemical over another one that has less harsh side effects that does equally as good a job? Once they understand the difference, they might say, hey, your cleaning supplies are just fine. But just make sure that you have that, that conversation with them so there are no surprises and they feel that their needs are being met. Now, going back to a customer that you had five years ago, there's going to be also establishing new situations where your pricing has changed, your personal protective equipment has changed, the pandemic brought new awareness to cleaning, so now you'll be cleaning high-touch areas that do need to be sanitized and disinfected. And so we want to make sure that at every home, we're getting all of those high touch areas. So those are new conversations you'll be having with old customers if you go back to the customers that you had before. So I'm super excited for you. I hope you keep me posted. And if you have questions or comments, those go in the notes below. And if you want to learn more specifically about cleaning with bleach and how not to leave traces of it behind in your customers' homes, watch this next video where we'll talk about ozone machines and bleach and when and when not to use it. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.